out to the Red Tour. This is our first show of four shows that we will be playing at the Staples Center. And um, I don't know, I don't know, if you were me and you were planning a world tour, say, for example, the Red Tour. If you were planning a world tour and you decided to play four shows in one city, wouldn't that mean that that particular city was one of your favorite places to play in the world? I mean, critical thinking, I'm just, I'm just imagining that that would mean that the Los Angeles crowds are the danciest, jolliest, loudest. all sorts of lyric memorization. <laughs> and I would imagine that means that they showed up in all kinds of crazy outfits and get up some t-shirts with my face on it. Thank you for doing that. This is absolutely one of my favorite places to play in the entire world and I'm so happy that you're here. times in the past, and I'm seeing a lot of familiar faces in the audience. Are there some of you who have seen me in concert before? Well, thanks for coming back, guys. It's good to see you again. I missed you terribly. I also feel like maybe there are some of you who have never seen me in concert before. Is a lot of you. I guess I should maybe introduce myself. I'm Taylor. It's very nice to meet you. But I feel like because there are a lot of new people here, maybe you should get like a heads up, like like some, some insight into what you're going to see during this show. I feel like I should tell you that during the course of this show, you're going to see one particular color more than all the other colors. And you might be wondering, why? Why this one particular color more than, say, all the other colors, which are great, you know? Uh, well, the reason is, in my mind, when I'm writing songs, I, I tend to compare feelings to other things a lot, like colors. Like, in my mind, Sadness would be blue, and loneliness would be gray, and gold would be comfort or something. But there's this one color, Los Angeles, that really, really represents the emotions that I've been writing lots of songs about lately. songwriter is trying to be very self-aware and if I'm being self-aware right now I will admit to you that the songs on my album range from opposite ends of emotional intensity you know you've got like intensely falling in love with someone and going oh my god you're amazing oh you're amazing too let's be together forever and then you have the other side where it falls apart and there's miscommunication and and it gets really terrible really fast and then he's like, I need space and then I'm like, that's fine, I'll just never talk to you again and write a whole album about it. <laughs> that said, these emotions that I just described are what I would call the crazy emotions. They're the kind of emotions that make people go mad. They're the kind of emotions that are very difficult to go through. They're very difficult to verbalize. But apparently I wasn't alone in feeling them. Because there are 15,000 of you here tonight. And 
and it's a sold out show. And here's what I think about the crazy emotions, LA. I tend to think that if you could get through them, they teach you the lessons you're supposed to learn in order to grow. I think that if you could get through them, they teach you things about yourself that end up making you better and eventually turn you into who you're supposed to be someday. And I don't know if I, I don't know if you agree with me here, but I'm just going to check. In my mind, if I were to label these crazy emotions with a color, uh -huh. 